Skate for cancer! My first memory of skateboarding was probably in middle school, about year nine or something like that. Um, I remember this guy, um, I saw him ollie over a, a backpack and you know the, the image kind of just stuck with me and, and I just kept playing it over in my head. Uh, you know, I still do. I don't really see skateboarding as a sport but something else, you know, maybe even a form of art. I think that when you make the deciding factor about skateboarding being an art, it really opens up possibilities. You know, it's, it's not as restrictive, it's kind of like you can just make stuff up. It's not like that with most other sports, you know, like with, um, with soccer, you can't touch the ball, you can't just grab the ball and pick it up because you're breaking the rules, but in skateboarding, if you pick up your skateboard, you know, it's like kind of like you've invented a new trick and, uh, you know, it's opened up like a whole new world of possibilities. I guess I see skateboarding more geared towards the individual and the expression of that individual. You know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, us using a skateboard is like how a painter uses a paintbrush. The world is for everyone, I guess, you know, we're all different and we're all trying to do something for ourselves. I mean, um, I'm not going to be a robot and work nine till five and, you know, sit behind my TV at night. I mean, I'm out there to do what I want to do and skateboarding for me is, it's just fun. I think art, skateboarding and, and music, they kind of rebound off each other at certain points because, you know, you've got like, you know, the bottom of the skateboard decks, you, you've got art there and, and you've got like music which influences the art and you've always got skate parks where you've got graffiti all over it, you know. So in that sort of sense, it kind of does. One of the great things about skateboarding is that you can manipulate your environment. Yeah, and, you know, just kind of use your surroundings and uh, you know change it up, and and uh, it just makes things more interesting. Kind of adds a new new kind of element. Yeah. To skateboarding. Yeah, it does. Like just you know, oh that one time where we you know using objects around our neighborhood, all the scraps like junk and yeah, just like you know that some some random luggage bag we found. And yeah, and then that golf kind of that golf thing. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, and then just skating it and... Yeah, 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 it's just like an obstacle, you know, doing tricks over it. Just, it just makes things way more interesting. Yeah, you know, sometimes we even get to film it and take photos and stuff like that and... Yeah, it's like you can, it's like a creative outlet. Yeah.
brother was a skateboarder. He had heaps of old Thrasher skateboard mags. So I read them and I instantly fell in love with the lawlessness in it. Just like art skating has no rules. There's so much personal style you can put in it that it's basically just an extension of yourself. Skateboarding and art basically becomes you. It's all about expressing yourself and visually communicating like yourself to the world, which is what skateboarding is mostly about. Like, I mean, if you do a cool trick by yourself on a skateboard and it's really good, you'd want people to see it and witness it. It's no longer like a lifestyle thing. Who am I is manifested through art and skateboarding. In that way, I can't imagine not doing it. I'll be making art and skating my whole life, you know? It's who I am. Really too late to call someone.